great way to boost engagement on your Divi web pages is by embedding your Facebook posts on your WordPress website. In this video, I'll show you how to embed your Facebook posts to your Divi web pages in beautiful feeds like this. If you're ready, let's get started. The easiest way to embed your Facebook posts on your Divi web page is by using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. This plugin will let you create fast and responsive Facebook feeds for your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes and without any coding needed. To purchase the plugin, you can head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased inside your Smash Balloon account, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin. For Facebook Feed Pro, make sure to download the Facebook Feed Pro zip file like this and the Facebook extension zip file as well. Next, head over to your WordPress dashboard and on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new. Then click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file that we just downloaded from smashballoon.com like this and click on install now. Once installed, we can go and activate the plugin as well. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Before we start creating our first Facebook feed, we have to go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Facebook feed, hover over it like this and click on settings. Next, enter your license key beside the license key section here, just like this and click on activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated. We can now begin creating our first Facebook feed. On the left hand side under Facebook feed, click on all feeds. Then click on add new at the top. And this brings us into the first step of creating your Facebook feed. With Facebook Feed Pro, you have several different feed types you can create. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed featuring photos from any Facebook album, and more. For this example, let's go ahead with the timeline option, and it's already selected for us, so let's go click on Next. Now we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Go and click on Add New. And on this tip, you can see we have to select a source type, but since we're creating a Facebook timeline feed, we can go with Page right here, it's already selected for us and we can click on connect to Facebook. And this will take you into Facebook and you'll have to log in if you haven't already and select the Facebook page you wanna display on your feed like this. And then click on next. And on this step, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or post on our behalf. So it's completely safe. So you can go and click on done and click okay over here. And now we can see the Facebook page we selected as a source for our feed. We can select it like this and click add and select it as a source here then click next. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can also choose from seven different templates for your Facebook feed. You have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, and more. These will help you create a beautiful Facebook feed with no design skills needed. For this example, let's go and select the simple masonry and click on next. And instantly we have a beautiful preview of our new Facebook feed. All the latest posts from our Facebook page are displayed in this masonry template that we selected. And since we have our Facebook feed, we can actually go and embed it but let me show you how we can customize it so you can really make it match your brand or business. On the left hand side under customize, click on feed layout. Here you'll find options to modify the layout of your Facebook feed. You'll notice that we have three different layouts you can choose from. Currently we're using the masonry layout where all the posts are arranged in rows and columns in the original sizes. Next we have the list layout. We have all your posts in a single column list like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout which lets you swipe through your Facebook posts like this. Let's proceed with the masonry layout like before. And if you look down below, you can also specify the number of posts you want to display on your feed. To change it, just type in the number you want to display like this, and it will automatically make that change inside our live preview on the right hand side. And below that, you can also specify the number of columns you want to display on your feed. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the colors on your Facebook feed, under the customize tab once again, click on color scheme. You can see that currently it's inheriting all the colors from our WordPress theme. What this means is that when you create your Facebook feed, it's already matching the design of your WordPress website. Alternatively, you can go with the light theme like this, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want in your feed like this. Select the color scheme you're happy with and click on save on the top right corner. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can also add a header to your feed. On the left-hand side, click on header. You can see that currently it's disabled at the top, so we can enable it like this. And instantly you can see that new header applied to our feed. Currently it's showing you one of the two header types. And this one is the visual header which has the Facebook page profile picture and cover photo at the top. You can also see how many likes the Facebook page has as well. And next, we also have a text header like this. This is a minimal and simple Facebook header with a customizable text you can modify down below. For this feed, I'm actually going to disable the header, but if you make any changes, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. And Facebook Feed Pro also wants to make sure your feed looks its best on all devices. You can use the buttons on the top right to see how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. And once you're happy with your Facebook feed, you can go and embed it onto your Divi web page. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner. And here you'll find a dedicated shortcode for your feed. Copy it and click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to like this 
and click on Add. Next, on your page, click Edit with the Divi Builder, and that will bring you inside your Divi web page. And this is the container we'll be adding our Facebook feed to. To embed your Facebook feed inside Divi, you have two different options. You can either use a shortcode block like this and paste the shortcode you copied. There we go, you can see instantly our Facebook feed has now been added to the Divi web page. Alternatively, you can use our custom Facebook feed block like this. This one right here, select it, and you'll see a pop-up on the left-hand side like this, where you can select the Facebook feed you want to display on your page like this. If you created multiple feeds, you should see all of them in this list here. Select the feed you want to display on your page and click on the green check mark like this. And you can see our beautiful new Facebook feed embedded on our Divi web page straight away. It looks amazing, and once you're happy with it, save your page like this. Let's go check out what it looks like on the front end. Now on our live web page, here it is, our brand new Facebook feed just as we designed inside the plugin. All the posts from our Facebook page are displayed in a beautiful masonry layout that we can see here, and it's in the exact layout we chose as well. So we've successfully embedded a Facebook feed inside our Divi web page. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.